robotic surgery has been on the rise for years now and is here to stay. The advancements in technology have allowed us to take a giant leap forward in the field of surgical medicine, making the procedures safer, faster and more precise than ever before. Hi, I'm Dr. Lakshmi and you're watching the Health Talk session by Yashoda Hospitals. So let's discuss and know more about robotic surgery in our today's episode. Joining our discussion today is Dr. Vijay Kumar Bada, Senior Consultant Gastro Surgeon and Bariatric and Robotic Surgeon from Yashoda Hospitals, High Tech City. Welcome to the program, Doctor. Hi. So, Doctor, medical robots have been in use for approximately more than 30 years in the field of surgery. So, how do you think this field has evolved? Yeah, as you rightly said, that um, the field of surgery is continuously evolving and uh, every treatment has to evolve or to get a better outcome for the patient. So, when we are talking about robotic surgery, this is one branch which has evolved so enormously. And with the ad advent of latest robotic generations, the, currently we are at the Da Vinci fifth generation robotic surgeries. So this, all these things help in a better outcome for the patient in terms of overall recovery, in terms of uh, early recovery, in terms of the comforts, short term, long term comforts, and also in terms of the disease outcomes for the patient. So robotic surgery, I would say, is currently the most advanced treatment available for most of the uh, GI surgeries uh, in today's uh, clinical practice. So robotic surgery has become an incredible advancement in the field of surgery, doctor. So what is robotic surgery and conventional therapy to compare to say, is the ella different gown today? Robotic technology is a very unique technology in the sense that it does the same procedure that we would do continuously, uh, what we would do in a conventional open surgery. The same procedure can be done with the same minimal access uh, approach. In robotic technology, what happens is we have uh, different uh, components of the robotic uh, arm. The one is called the patient console, then there is a surgeon uh, console, and then there is a vision cut. So these three parts together form what is called a robotic system. So effectively what happens is that whatever movement the surgeon does at the surgeon console, that movement is translocated into a movement at the patient at the tissue level. Few important things are there. The same procedure we would do in laparoscopy, like we would place an instrument, watch in a monitor, and then uh, do the procedure. But there are few important things which we were missing or which uh, many of uh, the patients and the surgeons even didn't know that why some procedures would uh, cause more pain or more bleeding. Some procedures were not able to complete uh, through laparoscopy and we had to open. So some of the things like the magnification. So what we see in a laparoscopy, in robotics, we can see almost 10 to 12 times more magnified view. And also we have a 3D vision, inbuilt 3D vision. So these two things will give a perfect picture, perfect visualization of the tissues, exactly what we are doing at the most minute level. So obviously we know that the dissection and the outcome of the, that tissue handling is going to be very good. And also the tremor, the most important thing is when a surgeon is operating and we are putting the instrument inside, the tremor causes a lot of uh, unwanted uh, tissue damage. In robotics, what happens is it controls all the tremors. Whatever movements we do at the surgeon console is uh, translocated into a tremor-free movement at the tissue level. So that is, precision of the surgery is very high. In robotic surgery, there is no step in the surgery which will be done blindly. Everything will be done under perfect vision with increased magnification and uh, enhanced view. So these are some of the biggest advantages of robotic technology. And all these things, what happens is it translocates into an uh, outcome for the patient with minimal pain, minimal uh, uh, you know, tissue injury, minimal bleeding. So the recovery of the patient uh, is very fast. They get out of the hospital very quickly. They get back to their normal work the quickest compared to open and laparoscopic surgery. And now since uh, we are uh, using robotic system, we are the center doing the highest number of robotic surgeries for all GI uh, diseases, including GI cancers, benign GI conditions, so most of the hernias, we are the pioneers in uh, robotic hernia surgeries. So we immediately see the difference when uh, the same procedure we would do uh, open or uh, even uh, advanced laparoscopy and uh, compared to what we are doing with uh, the robotic system, there's a huge difference to the patient's outcome and also in terms of the clinical outcome. So doctor, robotic surgery dwara surgeon ki 
ఎలాంటి అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఉంటాయో మీరు చెప్పారు అలాగే పేషెంట్స్కి ఎటువంటి బెనిఫిట్స్ ఉంటాయి సో యాజ్ అట్ కన్వెన్షనలీ ఆల్ పీపుల్ వుడ్ థింక్ దాట్ ఇఫ్ యూ దే హ్యావ్ టు అండర్ గో సర్జరీ దెన్ దే వుడ్ నీడ్ అ లాంగర్ స్టే ఇన్ ద హాస్పిటల్ దే హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ లాట్స్ ఆఫ్ బెడ్ రెస్ట్ అట్ హోమ్ దే విల్ బి అవే ఫ్రమ్ దేర్ వర్క్ దే విల్ బి అవే ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ దర్ ఫిజికల్ యాక్టివిటీస్ దే విల్ నాట్ బి ఏబుల్ టు గెట్ బ్యాక్ దర్ నార్మల్ లైఫ్ దే వోంట్ బి ఏబుల్ టు హిట్ ద జిమ్ దే వోంట్ బి ఏబుల్ టు ట్రావెల్ బట్ విత్ రోబోటిక్ సర్జరీ వీ హార్డ్లీ సీ ఎనీ పేషెంట్ స్టేయింగ్ ఇన్ ద హాస్పిటల్ ఫర్ మోర్ దెన్ టూ డేస్ ఈవెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ అండర్ గోయింగ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ మేజర్ సర్జరీస్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది మోడరేట్ టు ఈవెన్ మేజర్ సర్జరీస్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద పేషెంట్స్ గో బ్యాక్ ద నెక్స్ట్ డే హోమ్ many of them go back the next day only hardly few of them stay for the second or third day so the amount of stay in the hospital what we call the length of the hospital stay is drastically reduced the requirement for icu the requirement for blood transfusions the requirement for very advanced pain killers or ventilator care all these things are reduced and as soon as they go home they are very active they are mobile while in the hospital itself they walk very next day so they can get back to their normal work uh, very quickly and they will be able to get back to all their physical activities as uh, early these are the huge advantages one is reduced bleeding finer dissection good uh, uh, recovery pain free recovery early recovery shortest possible stay in the hospital getting back to their normal life very quickly getting back their professional and personal work at the earliest possible time so these were the things which we were not able to provide when we were doing the open surgery but when we are able to do the same surgery giving the same outcome with all these added benefits including the disease benefits then i think robotic system does wonders there so it's a proven fact that robotic surgery has many advantages for the patients as well doctor so are there any particular instructions or care that patients need to follow especially after surgery doctor in a robotic system uh, using the robotic uh, technology the post operative management becomes very less all we have to take care of them is minimal pain which is there in the first day of the surgery and uh, they are uh, back to their normal life so there is very little post operative care that these patients need to actually worry about so unlike in uh, the open surgery or some of the moderate surgeries we say that they should not be lifting heavy weights they should not drive they should not uh, go on a two wheeler they should not climb stairs they should uh, you know take some more often bed rest they should need a lot of dependents at home to take care of them so all these things are uh, taken off in a robotic um, surgery where patients are able to do all their activities on their own uh, very early so it's now time to bust few myths and know the facts about robotic surgery so taking the first one a robot performs the surgery and not the surgeon yeah it's a very common uh, doubt many of them have it's a myth the robot doesn't perform the surgery the surgery has to be ultimately performed by the surgeon himself the fact is robo cannot perform even one single step of the surgery robo only helps us in uh, giving few of the advantages which we didn't have when we were doing the laparoscopy or the open surgery so the entire procedure from first till the end has to be done by the surgeon himself he only uses the robotic technology to perform the surgery more safer uh, with more precision and uh, with better outcome taking the next one robotic surgery does not allow the surgeon to feel the organs or the patient while performing surgery so it is both myth and fact antano ipudu current unna robo generation lo a tactile feedback antam a tactile feedback anedi undadu ante ipudu nenu oka tissue ni touch chesthe deen gurinchi naaku telustundi touch chestunnano idu enta thick undi thin undi anedi telustundi రోబో సర్జరీలో మనకు అది అంతగా ఉండదు మనకు నార్మల్ హ్యాండ్తో టచ్ చేసినట్టు ఉండదు అది ఒక ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఉంది బట్ ఆ ఫ్యాక్ట్ని ఆ టాక్టైల్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ లేదు దాన్ని ఎలా చేస్తాము అనేదానికి చాలా టెక్నాలజీలో చాలా అడ్వాన్స్మెంట్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో అది ఫీల్ కాకపోతే మన సర్జరీ బాగోదు లేదా అవుట్కమ్ బాగుండదు అనేది కాదు ఫీల్ చేసినప్పుడు మనం ఎంత చేస్తామో దానికన్నా చక్కగా మనం చేయగలుగుతాం ఎందుకంటే ఆ టాక్టైల్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ లేకపోయినా కూడా మిగతా టెక్నాలజీ ఉంది ఆ డెప్త్ పర్సెప్షన్ను uh 3d vision valla manchi outcome vastundi think the next one robotic surgery is easy and any surgeon can perform this robotic surgery easy gaado robotic surgery makes the life easy it gives better outcome kani andulo chaala challenges unnai edana surgery cheyalante aa surgery ki em procedure untundo adi maradu manam open chesina laparoscopy chesina robotic chesina aa procedure emi maradu manam ela cut cheyali ela స్టిచ్చెస్ చేయాలి అది కంపల్సరీ తప్పక అలాగే చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది 
రోబోటిక్ టెక్నాలజీ వాడుకుంటే మనం ఆ ప్రొసీజర్ని కొంచెం ఈజీగా కనిపించేటట్టు చేస్తాము మంచిగా బాగా కనిపిస్తుంది అది అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఉంది so before we wrap this episode doctor what message you would like to share with the audience out there as far as robotic surgery is concerned yeah see ipudu manam telusukovali okati oka jabbu ochinappudu daniki pariharam enti anedi kanukovali first aa pariharam surgery ani unnappudu surgery avasaram padinappudu surgery lo rakarakal surgery lu untai kondaru konni surgeries chestaru ipudu latest technology em undi edi safe undi ఏ సర్జరీ ఏ టెక్నాలజీతో చేసుకుంటే మాకు సర్జరీ తర్వాత రికవరీ స్మూత్ ఉంటుంది ఎంత త్వరగా మనము రికవరీ పొందుతామో అనేది ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఉంటుంది అలా ఉన్నప్పుడు మనము ఓపెన్ సర్జరీ కూడా చేసాము లాప్రోస్కోపిక్ సర్జరీ చేసాము ఇప్పుడు రోబోటిక్ సర్జరీ చేస్తున్నాము సో ఇవన్నీ చూస్తే రోబోటిక్తో ఉన్న అడ్వాంటేజెస్ చాలా గొప్ప ఉన్నాయి మనకు ఓపెన్ కానీ లాప్రోస్కోపిక్తో పోల్చుకోలేము అలాంటి అడ్వాంటేజెస్ రోబోటిక్ సర్జరీ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏదైనా ఆపరేషన్ మనము కడుపులో క్యాన్సర్ కానీ క్యాన్సర్ కానీకపోతే హర్నియాలు కానీ మనం ఓపెన్ సర్జరీ చేసేవి లాప్రోస్కోపీ వైపు వెళ్ళాము ఎందుకంటే అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఉన్నాయని తెలుసు కాబట్టి సో ఇప్పుడు లాప్రోస్కోపీ చేసే సర్జరీస్ అన్నీ మనము రోబోటిక్లో చేస్తున్నాం సో ఏదైనా ఆపరేషన్ అవసరం ఉన్నప్పుడు అడ్వాన్స్ టెక్నాలజీని వాడుకుని మనం ఆ సర్జరీ చక్కగా చేసుకుని త్వరగా ఇంటికి వెళ్ళి త్వరగా మా పనులకి చేరుకున్నటువంటి అట్ ద సేమ్ టైం ఆ సర్జరీ ప్రొసీజర్ కంప్లీట్గా కరెక్ట్ కావాలి సో ఈ అన్నిటికీ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ మనకు రోబోటిక్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇస్తున్నప్పుడు హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ మనము రోబోటిక్ టెక్నాలజీ వాడుకోవాలి దాని నుంచి ఉన్న బెనిఫిట్స్ని మనం పొందాలి అనేది నా మెసేజ్ అండి సో థ్యాంక్ యూ డాక్టర్ ఇట్ వాస్ వండర్ఫుల్ హ్యావింగ్ యూ హియర్ ఆన్ అ ప్రోగ్రామ్ టుడే థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ గుడ్ డే సో దస్ బ్రింగ్స్ అస్ టు ది ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎపిసోడ్ రిమెంబర్ హ్యావింగ్ నాలెడ్జ్ అబౌట్ యర్ హెల్త్ ఇస్ క్రూషియల్ ఫర్ యువర్ ఓవరాల్ వెల్ బీయింగ్ and we at each other hospitals are more than happy to answer your health related queries and don't forget to join us for next week as well until then take care and stay healthy thank you <laughs>